Today in the Smuggler's Room... We're building a mouse droid! That's coming up. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian, and welcome to the Smuggler's Room. This week, this chubby geek you is- You be a chubby geek if you watched your diet and exercise more. Hey, I eat just the right amount of- Wait a minute, who are you? I was sent by Gravistar as part of your sponsor agreement. Oh, right. Gravistar, the awesome sponsor of this week's episode. Wait a minute. How did you get out of the box? I am fully capable of navigating the complexities of a box. Never mind, just stay calm. We'll get to you in a minute. I am perfectly calm. As you can see, this week is all about the droids. And the Junkyard Jedi, he did not disappoint and brought us a special treat. So let's dive in to the build. Here's the top of the mouse droid. There we are with our 3D printed Greeblies. Still need to add a few parts and uh, spray paint the whole works. All right, so here's a frame, a little half laps. And then we need to round the corners off so they fit up in here nice and tight. I'm going to use the uh, grooves in my uh, saw to uh, get me a little more depth in here. Much of the mouse droid construction that you see today is provided by the amazing content that Michael Badley puts together and his 3D creations. Now this episode isn't sponsored by Michael Badley, but we're huge supporters of his work. You should provide links in the descriptions for the viewers. Yes, I already have. We've provided you with links in the description to his Patreon account below. I elected to go with a 3D printed car instead of buying a regular RC car at the hobby store. The PLA print and the PETG material, it's much harder, much more durable than the PLA. This is a 100 watt, 12 volt scooter motor. What we got is a little uh, thread lock. This is a blue formula, it's easier to get apart. And what this does is it sets the threads, kind of like locks them up. Got, uh, some uh, original white grease. Use it to put together uh, motors and whatnot. You don't want to get it all over yourself, so we want to get this on all of these gears, on those gears as well. Got those guys gooped up. Got our gears inside gooped up, and this should just kind of slip right on there. We mentioned the Michael Badley group, but another valuable resource for building a mouse droid is the Mouse Droid Builders Club. Link in the description.
We mentioned that today's episode is sponsored, and it's probably no surprise what we're featuring. We've always been really careful not to promote things on this channel that don't have value for you. And today's sponsor is no exception. There are a lot of Bluetooth speakers on the market today, which gives you a multitude of choices. Having said that, how many speakers speak directly to the prop maker? Furthermore, how many look like they dropped right out of a sci-fi movie? Gravistar makes some of the coolest looking and sounding Bluetooth speakers in this galaxy, with high quality and creativity combined into functional technology. One of Gravistar's statements that I love Quality is the best form of sustainability. They create product and services of lasting quality that delight in unexpected ways. This particular bit of awesomeness is the Mars Pro War Damaged Yellow. It is a dual speaker system designed with a passive bass radiator to create big sound in a small enclosure. The War Damaged version comes with special handmade craft, which makes it super unique. It includes six RGB lights, Bluetooth 5.0, and a 15-hour battery life. Now, there are a lot of details I could go into about this, but there are three things that are most important. How does it sound? Is it easy to use? And the aesthetics. As a maker and a droid fanatic, I think it speaks for itself. The construction of this is great. I mean, the shell is a zinc alloy construction and its handmade pattern gives it the exact look that speaks to my geek nature. Now, we have links in the description for this particular war model yellow. However, you're gonna wanna check out all the different things that they have to offer. There's a variety of different styles of these that you can actually purchase in a pair to get stereo sound in your office or entertainment room. They also have things like earbuds and cases for your phones, as well as a charging station that I've already bought for our new little friend here. Now in today's episode, you've seen us chatting with our little Gravistar Bluetooth shop speaker, shop droid, if you will. But just keep in mind, all the AI and talking back and forth is all done by us to have a little fun and provide some entertainment. The Gravistar speaker is a Bluetooth speaker only. It doesn't have any AI or voice commands. And finally, we just wanna thank Gravistar for being an awesome sponsor and sending us their speaker to take a look and review. So uh, we've got some one inch, I'm gonna put uh, all the way around the perimeter here and then that'll give us a little half inch reveal. flush cutting bit so the roller will roll on the wood and then that'll cut it off right even with, with the wood frame. Alright, here's the bottom panel. Little car. We gotta try to figure out how to get this down inside. I made a cardboard template out of the back here. Draw us a line. And we'll do the sides, snip out the corners, and then bring them together. So this was my cardboard cutout, and we figured out about where it should be. We'll put some strips of wood across here so the frame will hang on this rail as well as in the front.
Don't forget to thank the Smugglers Guild members from Patreon. I wasn't. We love the Guild members. You are aware, the Smugglers Guild members are the reason you are able to continue making content. Yes, I know you are. All of you amazing members of the Smugglers Guild are what give us the ability to keep expanding projects and building something out of nothing. Thank you, members. We could not do this without you. In order to keep our top piece from sliding around, put some dowels in all the corners. Now we know where to drill the holes and they'll match up. Put it on the drill press, that's the way it's straight up and down. Handheld drill is kind of angly. The blue piece you see here is actually an electrical box extension, and the silver piece is the grounding bar for a breaker box. Both of these are cheap and easy solutions to help mount the electronics. You know, just a little something out of nothing for you. We got uh, our batteries in, got a negative bus, a positive bus, and then this is the switched bus. What we mean by that is all our negatives, like from the battery, are tied to one common ground. Positive side of the batteries are tied to this middle piece. Also, this one other line goes down to the switch. So when you turn the switch on, now the power flows through and then it powers up this front uh, connections. That's where our electronic speed controller is tied in there. One more speaker to put in. That's a switch cover plate. We don't want anything underneath here touching that screw and shorting out our board. Now there's some little plastic spacers. So I like to use the spark fun. I've used these in the RTD2s. They're pretty simple to use and they work real well. Problem is it's kind of hanging off the end of the board. I had a bit of acrylic. I'm just gonna swap out our uh, cover here and then we can extend this all the way across and that'll give me a little more room on the back end here to put our other board on. So our battery connections, they'll plug into our main board. Battery on this side as well. All, right, all wired up, battery's connected. We'll get this tucked in here. Turn on our switch. Hit the PS2 button on our handheld. And that gives us our steering. Got sound. And back up. I think we're about ready to give it a road test. Mounting the top greeblies, they're supposed to set at about a 10 degree angle sloped in here. Mark our magnets so we get each one is facing the right direction. 
So what we could do is make an X on one side, and that way they all get the same X. So when we glue them in, we make sure we have them right side up. The magnets are pulling down against here, so that makes them nice and flush. Let it glue just like it is. Printed out some uh, bumpers. This doesn't really go to this car. These were um, on the Mouse Droid Builders website. So we're gonna make our back bumper. All it is is just a uh, U-shaped piece of wire. Actually, this is an eighth of an inch rod that I'm gonna use. It's pretty soft. I got my little Zacto knife. It's got a cool little radius on it. We're just going to put it in the vise. These little uh, LiPo battery monitors, they just plug in. It'll give you the charge on the batteries. Plus it'll alarm you when uh, you're starting to get low. The mouse droid is Star Wars iconic. And if you're a droid builder, this is certainly one I would think you'd have on your list. Now we wanna give a huge thank you to Michael Badley for his amazing engineering skills in developing the Mouse RC car. Make sure you check out his Patreon site for this and other amazing creations. And to Christopher Edwards for his insanely great software coding skills in developing the shadow sketch for the Sony navigation controller to use with the MSE6 Mouse Droid. You can find all of his posts and details in the Mouse Droid Builders Club forum. The group is really a wealth of knowledge, my friends, and it will get you a long way to building your own MSE-6. And that about does it for us today, folks. What about the Rancor Pid? Is that now among the growing list of unfinished projects around here? Growing list? What the? Who sent you, really? I am just stating the obvious. You have a growing list of unfinished projects around here. I think it's about time okay, we get okay, you on the completion just shut up. schedule. The, the Rancor Pit is on its way in the next episode. I swear. It's not my fault. It's, uh, it's a matter of sourcing material and, and getting all the right tools to finish it up. Sure it is. It's just part of, you know, that the building something out of nothing. Today in the smuggler's room, we did the wrong sound effect. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> hit my head on this. Well, don't I hit your head. I... Do I need a bumper? I can put a foam piece here for you. <laughs> pop up and I'm, 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 dizzy, I'm dizzy when I pop up. <laughs>